I'm Justin Valves on uh, Triumph Head here, and I had a great opportunity. I want to do every mechanic should know this video again. And what I want you to do is I want you to focus in here on the shim. And to adjust the valves, we're going to measure the thickness of this, and we're going to be altering that. So I wanted to make a point about using the right tool. And I'm going to go ahead, and you're going to see me measure this quick here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and measure this. I want you to see that I have the ability to zero the tool. Okay, and I'm going to take this here and measure this, this shim in its entirety like this. I'll do it a couple of different times, rotating it. See, I'm getting that 267. There's spots in here where I get 270. You saw it 68? Yep. Okay, so with this, what's happening is as this gets you know, used over time, there's a ridge. Go ahead and look at the shim. It has a stamp size on it when it was new. All right, so if you look here, it says it's a 2.60. Now, keep the camera there. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a micrometer here, a metric one that actually has the digital uh, scale on here for us to be easy to prove a point here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, and use the proper tool, which is a micrometer. And you're gonna see here that I can go ahead and get right into the middle so that I'm not on any lip. And then you'll see here that I'm a 260. So here's the point I want to make how important it is to use the right tool. A, you know, round it up to a 270 would be two shim sizes larger than actual. And just to kind of do a little math on that, what that would be for each shim size, which are in 0.05 of a millimeter, that equals two thousandths of an inch. So you can imagine two of these in the wrong direction is already starting four thousandths of an inch in the wrong direction, okay? It's, you're, you're trying to say that this is much thicker than it really is, and that's why you might be having some problems in doing your valve adjustment, and you go in to do the feeler gauge, and you're like, what's going on? I measured this, you know, how can this be off? You're probably using the wrong tool. We do not want to use a veneer caliper in this case. You want to use a micrometer and uh, use the right tool and get the job done the right way. So there's my tip of the day, and keep wrenching. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber.